Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today, I'm gonna show you how to get Netflix up and running on your Raspberry Pi 3 running Raspbian, otherwise known as Pixel. So I've been out of town for the last few days and one of my good buddies, Tech Whiz Time, actually already made a video on this. Link to his channel is in the description. He does an amazing job with the Raspberry Pi. Go ahead and check him out. I wanna show you guys how to do this because I thought it was amazing. I've actually been trying to get this to work in Firefox for the past month trying all kinds of stuff and I could never get it to work. We're gonna be using a build of Chromium that supports DRM. Very easy to do and I made it even easier for you guys because all you gotta do is download this text file here so you can copy and paste these commands in the terminal. I'm gonna add a few more commands up here. Give me one second because if you're not updated completely on your Raspbian build, you need to go ahead and update just to be safe. All right, now that I got that out of the way, we're good to go. So if you're running an older version of Raspbian, I definitely recommend running sudo apt git update, let that finish, and sudo apt git upgrade. Now you're gonna do that from the terminal. That'll update your Raspbian build. Mine's already fully up to date. Let's go ahead and install the Chromium from Custy8 that will allow us to run Netflix. So this Chromium build obviously has some kind of DRM support built in because we wouldn't be able to run Netflix without it. That was one of the big things with Firefox. They updated their Firefox for Linux a while ago to 52. I think it's like up to 54 or something now. Supposedly, it supported DRM, but I could never get it to work on the Raspberry Pi for some reason. This is an awesome option here. Very easy to do. Download that text file from the link in the description. I'm gonna have a Dropbox version and a Mega version because the last time I uploaded something up to Dropbox, they shut it down for a day because I had so many hits on Dropbox. So let's get right into it. First thing we're gonna do is just copy this whole thing here. This is gonna to go to GitHub, wgit, download this Chromium build that Custy8 has modified, I guess, and it works great. Copy, paste, enter. Give it a little while to download. Now I'm connected with ethernet. You can also use Wi-Fi if you'd like to. Now that we have that downloaded, we need to go ahead and install it. So we'll just copy this, copy, paste. This is just going to install the Chromium build we just downloaded. Press enter, let it finish up. We are now finished. We just need to reboot one time. You can either type in sudo reboot here in the terminal, or we can go up to the raspberry and shut down, reboot. I'm just gonna reboot once. After you've rebooted, we'll just go back to the raspberry. Internet, Netflix launcher. So we're gonna launch this. Now, if you're in the United States, the Raspberry Pi builds come set up with a UK standard keyboard. Trying to put in an at symbol for at Gmail for an email or something like that is horrible. Some people just kind of give up. I'm going to show you how to change that real quick before you sign into your Netflix account. Go to the Raspberry. Scroll down to Preferences. Mouse and Keyboard Settings. Keyboard. Keyboard Layout. You can see it's set for the United Kingdom. I'm gonna to go to United States. Alternative, okay, okay. Now I have a US keyboard layout and when I press Shift 2, my at key will show up. I'm gonna sign into Netflix. I'm gonna skip this part, obviously. Okay, now I'm signed in. I've chosen my profile here. The first time you start up Netflix and choose your profile, it can take about 30 seconds for all the images to load, but after that you should be good to click on anything and start watching it. Now I have a very, very bad addiction to alien documentaries. Unsealed, Alien Files, I've watched this several times. Anytime I find an alien conspiracy theory documentary I have to watch it for some reason my wife hates it so we're gonna go all the way down to the bottom so we can full screen this sucker I'm gonna turn the sound up on my game capture so you can see that we do have sound. all lies 
But then, a mysterious book surfaced in the 1980s. And I'm gonna skip the blue to the middle. Created by UFO theorists in everything from covering up Roswell to countless alleged and that's murders, pretty much it. disappearances. I'll just stop so this. You now have Netflix up and running on your Raspberry Pi 3. So this is pretty cool. I know I'm not going to use this every single day because I have 13 devices that will run Netflix better than the Raspberry Pi 3 will. But this is a really cool option if you don't have anything else that works. I'm not sure why Netflix hasn't supported the Raspberry Pi 3 in the past. Now, they should have from the get-go. Maybe in the future they will, but right now we can still play it using this method. I really appreciate you guys watching. If you could, hit that like button and subscribe. I definitely recommend going to check out TechWiz Time's channel. Link is in the description. He does amazing things with the Raspberry Pi. Like always, thanks for watching.